Coordinate sent. Right here. Hit them. Copy. Phoenix 3-1. Dropping white phosphorus. Enemies in the air. <laughs> What is up family? Welcome back to some more Modern Warfare gameplay. And today I have something that's really dear to my heart. It's a super special gameplay. I'll be using the Scar H because I noticed I didn't have a single game with the Scar H on my channel. Here's the class setup right there. Boom. So now I'm going to be talking about it real quick. So the attachments I decided to use, I took away the, the barrel because the barrel took away some movement speed and it made the gun a little bit slower even though if you want to use the barrel on the Scar H highly recommended it adds recoil control and it adds some damage to it two things you want to feed on every category regardless of the gun really if you see those two being added it's a good attachment but anyways I decided to go with a faster one and honestly the recoil on the Scar H is pretty controllable and the damage is pretty high so I said hey Let's go for more speed, because this gun to me had a problem with the ADS, honestly. I felt like it moved too much when you were walking and stuff, you know? The aiming stability was off, and the sprint to aim speed was also off, so that's why I started adding things that would uh, make it faster. And about the perks, I used AOD, Spotter, and Ghost. AO EOD and Spotter for the claymores because I've just been getting the worst looks you'll see me using the claymores but I don't sponsor claymore usage at least people who who double up on claymores you know or double up on bouncing Betty's or they have the restock perk to keep spamming claymores I mean bro come on man let's make let's make the game a fast-paced game again bro right here I'm playing on Euphrates bridge and I control areas, I defend areas like you're supposed to do in the game, you know, the game is catered to, to controlling areas and moving less, but come on, don't camp, bro, let's not camp, you know, there's my, uh, my, my pledge to not camping, I pledge to not camp because it just makes the game so much not funner, you know, <laughs> I don't know if that's a term, but I just made it up, anyways, yeah, this class setup, you're going to see me go on a tear right here. I recycle my streaks twice and yeah I was having fun I was having a blast this gun is gonna work really good for those medium to long ranges short ranges the the fire rate is about 780 rounds 850 close to 900 maybe I don't know not really sure but the but the fire rate is not that bad you know you can actually beat an SMG maybe uh, it's pretty hard to beat a shotgun but you're gonna be the other things close range, you know, like SMGs. Uh, yeah. So this map, how I play this map, Euphrates Bridge. I don't think I have gameplay in this map yet. So I really like to control this under part of the bridge. And if you can control the top part of the bridge, this is a little bit of pro tip. If you can control the uh, top part of the bridge when you spawn at A, you're gonna get your streaks really fast, man. I promise. Controlling that little uh, corridor that there is next to the fallen statue is a must when you spawn at A. I'd rather spawn at A, but it's uh, better to spawn at C if you want to win because you could get to the top of, the, of B faster, I believe. And, and it's safer too. So anyways, I wanted to talk about uh, Season 1 of Call of Duty. We're going to be having that really soon on December 3 for all platforms that means the ex exclusivity deal P Sony had with Activision I don't know what happened but it's not there anymore I guess so yeah everyone's gonna be enjoying the free content this is the biggest free content dropping Call of Duty as they're sponsoring you know I love it that they're they're putting everything for free there's no more season pass which I just wanted to emphasize I spent $60 on last year's Black Ops 4 season pass and that was a horrible business move you know I'm a man of business Let, let's talk a little bit smack you know Black Ops 4 I loved it I loved it I have a ton of gameplay right here watch this 
I'm sorry. I'm just going to put a parenthesis right here. Watch this horrible accuracy, by the way. But I heard the door open. Man, they should do, like, you can open the door with square and it will be literally noiseless. But that guy just kicked in the door. I turned on, I turned on him so fast, bro. I turn on him so fast and look at this right here. How did I not die? EOD sometimes works. Sometimes EOD does what I want it to do. Anyway, I get my white phosphorus here. This is this was just such a crazy sequence. I just screamed my lungs out right there because I knew I would have had an 11 streak, maybe a 20 streak, because I was in my I was in a big mood right there. No cap, I was in a huge mood to just keep killing and killing. But hey. Anyways, back to season one of Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Uh, multiplayer maps. We're gonna have Crash. This has been a multiplayer map from Modern Warfare 4. It's uh, we've seen this before. It's a really good map. So, yeah, you know what we can expect. Shipment. A minute of silence for shipment, guys. This is just the worst map. <laughs> it is smaller than Shoot House, bro. Shoot House is pretty small. It has. It's. It could be fluid. If you have, you're, if you're playing the the right enemies right here, I killed that guy. Get killed. I, I was pretty mad there too. Uh, you could get lucky and shit, man. It's, it's not a map for me. I'm sorry. Vacant. I think vacant is gonna be a new map. I haven't seen one, this one before. But uh, my opinion on that vacant map, the new one. I'm gonna be honest. I see too much roof. I see too many roofs on it, and. Why would you want to play on a map that has too many roofs? You know, getting streaks is irrelevant. You know, it's gonna be a gun streak map. Anyways, there's a new ground war map called Port. There's two. There's three new 2v2 gunfight maps: Cargo, Atrium, and more. Oh, so there's four. There might be three or more. Okay, and more. And there's three new multiplayer modes: Reinforce. This looks like it's gonna be War or Blitzkrieg. I think it was called in Ghost. Or you kept moving faster and faster if you cap spots. Uh, gunfight OSP. Not really sure what gunfight OSP is going to be. But they... They... They put the return of Infected to... Infected, baby. You you remember Infected on Modern Warfare 2 where everybody, everybody was getting Moab? On Modern Warfare 3, sorry. Everybody was getting Moab. It was fun. It was super fun. And two new weapons. The Holger... 26 which is definitely a light machine gun and the ram 7 which is definitely a a assault rifle a bullpup assault rifle they also added five new special op experiences bomb squad grounded pitch black and just reward and more they see they keep uh telling you they're gonna add more like uh more than seven or six features for special ops so yeah that's basically the season one. Very anticipated. I am very uh, hype. I don't think if they're gonna be getting any patch like notes f along with the uh, update. But yeah, we have content to spare right here. I think more than any previous year, Activision and Infinity Ward have been very receptive to constructive criticism, which is super super dope, man. Uh, they actually said they were gonna be concentrated on the fun, and I understand now what they meant about being concentrated on the fun. Maybe they made the game a little bit tactical, cause you know it's a wave. It's a it's the wave being tactical and stuff when you're playing a shooter game. But they definitely did. They took out the season pass. We've never seen that before. You know they put free content in. They've been making small tweaks all the time about the the complaints that the community has had the footsteps is the prime example of it you know I still believe they can tweak it a little bit more uh, the footsteps so they can make it perfect but it's not it's not the worst thing if they don't fix it you know they're not horrible now they were horrible when it started but like I was saying earlier that's a problem I had with Black Ops 4 their season pass was absolutely horrible it was recycled content even even in launch it was recycled content man so I believe they just uh, tricked us, you know, into buying the the season pass. Then they gave us all this recycled material, which was just not fun, not a good move. But anyways, Call of Duty Modern Warfare is going on in the right direction. I believe they are doing exactly what they have to do, man. 
And I'm very glad, I'm very proud, because I love Call of Duty, man. What else can I say? It's one of my favorite games to play. Just sit down, I could be here hours. But yeah, that's it for the gameplay, guys. Now, uh, before the video ends, I wanted to talk a little bit about the channel and the content. So, I'm definitely working on getting a PC, a better PC. The way I work with the editing of the videos is I go on my laptop and I start working on it real quick, working on the thumbnail. And, but all the editing is done from the PS4's uh, Share Factory. That's why I sponsor it so much because it's been absolutely great, you know? Last two videos have been amazing and I'm very thankful. And it's thanks to the PS4. So, yeah. If you guys know any website that I could go to to buy a good PC, let me know, man. I'll be very grateful for it. I'm going to start getting into PC gaming real soon. But, hey, patience. It's all about patience, man. It's the best virtue. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed every single second of the gameplay. Like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to share if you really like the gameplay. It'll help the channel grow. Peace and see you on the next one. Definitely.